What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Trey Codes. As always, my name is Trey Hope, and I'm here to give you all the good information related to Flutter that I know that you need out there, okay? And today I have a special, special, special topic related to Flutter. Uh, recently, Flutter 3 decided that, hey, they want to go ahead and support foldable and dual screen devices. That's right. So if you have a foldable phone or a tablet that opens up or whatever it may be, Flutter is now going to be supporting that. Now, keep in mind that it is not officially in the Flutter repo just yet. Instead, they're taking their time and listening to feedback from developers to make sure that they're using pretty much the right approach when it comes to incorporating this feature. But for now, Microsoft has decided to create their own Flutter package that will allow us to take advantage of Flutter for foldable and dual screen devices. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate how we can use that today, and then I'll show you what it looks like on a few devices as examples. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to come to pub.dev, as always, my favorite place on earth, and we need to search for the dual screen version 1.0.3 Flutter package, all right? Published three months ago by Microsoft.com, supports no safety, 48 likes, 130 pub points, and 93% popularity. So this is a pretty good package for what we're trying to do today, all right? So let's go ahead and jump into the code. So I already have the package installed in here. I'll just go, go ahead and demonstrate what it looks like in the code using this package. I have my demo page right here, just a stateful widget. I have a few global properties at the top and I'll explain what these here are right now. So pain proportion is going to be the portion of the pain that is available on the screen, whether it be 30% width or 6% width, that's all the pain proportion, okay? We also have a Boolean flag that says the direction is horizontal. This is going to specify whether the panes are in horizontal order or vertical order. We also have a Boolean flag for vertical direction is up. This will let us know that if the direction of the panes is vertical, then we can specify if it's up or down, meaning A to B or B to A, all right? We also have the show both panes Boolean value. That's going to determine if we're showing both panes on a device or one pane on a device. Finally, two min and max pain proportion variables, one at 30%, one at 65%. This is just for our UI purposes to make sure that we don't create a unrealistic pain proportion like 10% or 90%, all right? Because then we wouldn't have any views for the other side of the pain. So if we go down here, we see that we have this two pain widget. This two pain widget is actually the widget that is provided by the dual screen Flutter package, all right? So this is essentially where the meat and potatoes is gonna happen whenever you need to work with dual screen devices right here. The first property on the two pane is the start pane. This is just the first pane, so you can specify that to be whatever widget you'd like it to be. The end pane is going to be the second pane, so this will be the second widget, the second screen, whatever it is, that you would need to be on the right side of the first pane. We have the pane proportion, which is going to specify the width of the first pane, that's how much space is taking up, whether it be 30% or 60%. Pane priority is going to determine if we're looking at both window panes or just one at a single time. The direction, like I said, horizontal or vertical, and then finally, uh, vertical direction determines if we're going to be seeing the panes going from A to B or B to A. All right, that's the gist of how we use the two pane widget. Like I said, this is not a Flutter package video, so I won't be explaining everything that goes along with this two pane widget. I'll let you discover that by yourself, but this is just the gist of how you would get started with it out of the box. So let's go ahead and demonstrate what that looks like on these two Android devices I have. So as you can see, I was in, I'm in Android Studio, so I created these two emulators, one eight fold out. This is gonna represent a foldable device for us. And then we also have a Pixel 3a, which is gonna represent just a single screen device for us. And I'm gonna show you how this two pane widget works on both devices, all right? So out of the box, whenever you're on a dual screen device uh, or foldable device, you can't modify any of the properties of the screen. So as far as the pane portion at 30%, uh, if I modify this, nothing happens, all right? The pain portion is at 50% right now, meaning that pain A has 50%, pain B has 50%. I can't change that when I'm on a dual screen device, all right? The show both panes uh, Boolean flag, whether I trigger that on and off, it doesn't matter since I'm on a dual screen device, I'll always see both panes, okay? Direction will always be horizontal when I'm on a two screen device. That means I can't switch pain B to go first or pain A to go right or, or second, you know what I mean? It's always gonna be what it is. So just keep in mind that all these things cannot be modified when you're actually on a two screen device. So it's pretty convenient because it, it, it allows you to just focus on the widgets that you need 
for that device. So you would just specify the start pane and end pane widgets, right? So that's essentially how we would deal with it on a dual screen device. Now, let me show you what it looks like when we're on just a single screen device. Now, pane A, pane B, same thing as before. This time, everything can be modified. So right now, the pane portion is 50%. That means that pane A takes up 50% of the screen. If we bring this down to 30%, pane A now takes up 30%. If we bring it up to 65%, it now takes up 65% of the screen, okay? So that can be modified right there. The show both panes property, if we turn this on, I'm sorry, if we turn it off, it's going to default to the first pane only. Keep that in mind. When it's off, it will always show the first pane only, all right? Turn it back on, now we have both our panes again. The direction currently is horizontal, meaning that it goes from pane A to pane B. But if we trigger this off, now its panes are going to be in vertical order. All right. So instead of horizontal, they're not vertical. All right. I'll try that again. Direction is vertical. Direction is horizontal. Direction is vertical. Direction is horizontal. All right. Now, while they're vertical, I had this triggered a little too early, but as you can see right now, pain A is on top and pain B is on the bottom. So the vertical direction is down, meaning that it's going down. If we trigger this to be on, now it's up, meaning that pain A will be from the bottom going to the top. Okay, let me try that again. Vertical direction is up right now, so it goes from bottom to top. If vertical direction is down, it goes from top to bottom. All right, so this is how you work with the dual screen flare package that's provided by Microsoft. It's a pretty good implementation right now to kind of understand how Flutter is going to approach dealing with foldable and dual screen devices. So I like it so far. Um, I think there's a plethora of other ways that they can go with this, but I think for right now, this is a good approach and I'm supporting it. I'm rocking with it, I'm not gonna lie. As always, if this video was helpful, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments your feedback about how Flutter is approaching this, if they're doing it the right way or if this is something that you can kind of go without. Whatever it is, just I love to hear the conversation. All right. Um, and anything else, if there's anything else that come across your mind related to Flutter, you know, I'm the guy. Hit me up. Let me know. Leave a comment. Send me a question. Whatever it is. I love to talk about Flutter. and I love to help you out. So I hope you have a great rest of your day. And until next time, I will talk to you all later. Peace.